Hey everyone and welcome back to News to Astonish where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. My name is Ronnie and today I want to give you all a quick update on Spider-Man No Way Home news. Now, I'm using a couple of resources backdating from when Alfred Molina spilled the beans months ago that he's in the film to a Twitter profile that goes by Spider-Man No Way Home updates and leaks. Guys, thank you so much for clicking on the video. To stay up to date with the latest in Spidey news, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell notification so you don't miss videos like this. I post videos on a daily basis and I do live streams on Tuesdays and Sundays from 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Join my Discord invitation link is in the description box below along with the links to my Instagram and Twitter. We definitely have so much to cover today so look out for that. I have more videos coming later this evening and tomorrow at noon as well. So the Spider-Man No Way Home news has been building up a lot of steam starting with the interesting tweet that I found on Twitter. As as I always say in my videos, take everything with a huge grain of salt since most of this information can't be substantiated. Remember that everything we've been hearing about Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield appearing in the film has been nothing but leaks and people claiming to be sources that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are indeed in the film. So don't take it as me being one of those content creators who acts like Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are in the film because I'm telling you so. A tweet that I want to direct your attention to is this one. According to the Spider-Man No Way Home updates and leaks, this Twitter account states that Tobey Maguire will look the same in Spider-Man No Way Home as he did from Spider-Man 3. Just with a little change, he will have a slight beard in the film to distinguish his character as the adult version of Spider-Man. Well, that makes sense since out of all the Spider-Men we've had on the big screen, Toby is the oldest. Toby is only about eight years older than Andrew Garfield and almost twice the age of Tom Holland. Still, I believe Tobey Maguire can pull off another Spider-Man movie with only being 46 years old. It would make perfect sense for him to take on the mentor role, albeit a mentor who's a bit washed up and showing his age already. Now we segue into the Alfred Molina and Tom Holland of it all and how Spider-Man No Way Home is the conclusion of a trilogy but the start of a new fresh Spider-Man franchise. Bringing you this article from BGR.com, we've been talking about the Spider-Man No Way Home spoiler for the better part of the year. As we kept getting more and more evidence that backed up the early rumors, No Way Home wouldn't just be the last third standalone Spider-Man story in the MCU. It would be the first live action Spider-Man multiverse story featuring three Peter Parkers, Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire, and Andrew Garfield. The leaks have gotten so big that you can't escape them anymore. You may be watching a Garfield interview late at night, not expecting any No Way Home secrets to drop, yet it happens nonetheless. Yet Tom Holland managed to avoid the elephant in the room rather brilliantly so far by staying away from the rumors. With two months to go until the No Way Home premiere, the actor has started the press tour, and Holland is finally addressing the film's big spoiler. Talking to Entertainment Weekly, Holland said that No Way Home felt like the end of a trilogy, although he did leave the door open for a possible continuation. But the real fun part was Holland talking about one of the big No Way Home twists, which Sony and Marvel showed up in the first trailer. Alfred Molina is back to play Doc Ock, the villain we last saw in Raimi Spider-Man. Molina confirmed his involvement in No Way Home months ago. He revealed that he plays the same character from the Raimi universe in an interview this summer. Also, Molina explained that Doc Ock would be pulled into the MCU from the reality where he died. That was a firm multiverse confirmation that implied that Maguire Garfield rumors were real. Sony and Marvel only revealed the multiverse aspect of the story in the first trailer. Molina spilling the big secret is probably why Sony and Marvel showed Doc Ock in the first trailer while only teasing four other Sinister Six villains. At least we assume that's the case. Molina's Doc Ock being in the trailer also allows Holland to talk about the character. Holland told EW that Molina is one of my favorite people I've ever worked with. That's actually a fascinating comment we'll return to in a minute. So the Spidey actor also detailed that what it felt like working with Molina in No Way Home. It was really fun to watch him see how new technology has advanced. Holland adds, when he was making these films, the arms were puppets, and when he did it, they're all imaginary and CGI. It was quite cool to see him relive it, but also relearn it. We expect Holland to battle Doc Ock, but the real rematch the fans want is between Maguire Spider-Man and the villain. 
On that note, Holland said that the fight scenes are a lot more visceral, with a lot more hand-to-hand -hand combat. Since Holland said that Molina is one of his favorite people to have worked with, it's interesting to see what he'll say about Maguire and Garfield. He did not mention the two actors in the EW interview, and the magazine never asked those difficult questions. While we wait to see how Sony and Marvel will introduce Maguire and Garfield's Spider-Man's variants, let's revisit an older Holland interview where the actor had to pretend he never met the actors before. Here's what Holland said to Variety back in early February about former Spider-Man actors. I never met Kirsten Dunst. I met Andrew once at the BAFTAs. He was lovely. He was a really nice bloke. And we had a good chat. It was quite soon after Spider-Man Homecoming had come out. He was really positive and nice. I bumped into Toby a few times at different parties in LA. He was also really nice. They seem to be lovely, really nice people. And I hope they enjoy our movies. I hope they enjoy my Spider-Man movies. And there you have it, folks everything there is to be said about Spider-Man No Way Home so far, Tom Holland sure is doing an amazing job in not spilling the beans about Spider-Man No Way Home. What are your thoughts about all of these leaks, rumors, and news? With all the information we've been given from people claiming to be sources to sneak peek of unfinished trailers to rumors online, I think I can say with certainty that all these leaks and rumors are most likely to be true, but I'm still gonna take everything with a huge grain of salt and so should you guys that are watching this video. Also, before I end this video, soon after the post from Twitter about Tobey Maguire looking the same from Spider-Man 3, the Twitter account also had this to share. So the second Spider-Man No Way Home trailer is coming before Eternals. That's why the photos dropped. Shots were decided long ago. It's being finished as of now. We'll go into dubbing very soon. Spider-Man No Way Home second trailer will be coming very soon this month, supposedly coming the 25th of this month, according to rumors plus additional photo leaks of the Rhino was posted online. In the photo, it shows the Amazing Spider-Man 2's Rhino locked in one of those prison cells that Doctor Strange has underground in the Sanctum Sanctorum, and judging by the photo, it does look legit. Although blurry, it still looks a lot like the set from the Spider-Man No Way Home, where Doctor Strange is trying to cast a spell to help people forget about Peter being Spider-Man. Now, for obvious reasons, I will not be posting or sharing those photos in this video with the fear of having this video taken down, if not, worse my channel being struck down if anything but you all let me know what are your thoughts about that down in the comment section below as well so be sure to like comment subscribe and click on the bell notifications so you all don't miss videos like this follow me on instagram and twitter and as always i will see you all in the next comic panel